Okay, so there's a student who's having uh, some difficulty with this model, this switch plate model, and I thought I'd uh, take it apart and show you uh, some common errors that could happen when you're putting your models together. So first of all, let's go ahead and check our mass properties. As we look at our PDF document, uh, the drawing that I made, mass properties should be ultimately at the very end, uh, 0.0237 pounds, and then uh, off only in the z-axis by 0 0.0925 inches. So let's see what we get here. So now if we look at our mass, 0.0237 and a bunch of other stuff, let's not get goofed up with uh, trying to round this stuff. Let's just go ahead and make this by going to options over here. Let's bring that down to four. So now it's the uh, same as what you would expect to see in the drawing over here. So let's go ahead and take a look at that, see if we can superimpose these. I don't think we can, but uh, it's either one or the other here it looks like. But anyways, uh, 0 0.0237, which uh, looks right. But uh, the z-axis is off by quite a bit, 0.0326. So let's take a look at this and see what's going on. If we look at maybe this sideways, take a look at the front plane and see where that front plane is. Bang, it's on the back of it, it looks like, when it should be on the bottom. So, yeah, it's going to be off a little bit. So you need to follow the directions and uh, make sure you uh, look at the, you know, the notes over here. It tells you which direction you need to go if it isn't apparent. So you need to extrude that to the front, not to the back. But I think there's some other issues in this, too. So let's do this. Check your model orientation. Right away, check it. And you do that by going to the space bar, press on the space bar. If we're supposed to be looking at the front here, go ahead and click that front button up here and see what you got. So you don't get the front, you get the back. So you need to think about your orientation as you're going through your model. So as you're putting this together, make sure you're going off in the right direction. Now let's make sure your sketches are correct, too. Uh, you know, your sketches here obviously went off in the wrong direction. Check your orientation first, and everything after that should uh, come together. So, how do we fix that? Well, let's start with our base feature and right click on that. Let's go ahead and fix our sketch. So, let's go ahead and flop these dimensions here. So, we're going to take this one, 2.75, and then this one's going to be supposed to be 4.5, so 4.5. So, that sets uh, that up. Go ahead and rebuild, or Control B is a shortcut for that. Let's go to this sketch over here and take a look at that. And that was kind of ugly too, but uh, 0.4, you don't have to erase a whole lot. But 0.4 here and a one inch there. Now we get that set up. Let's go ahead and rebuild that. So now we have these little circles off to the side, kind of ugly. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, take those and remember to rename your uh, your features over here so we know what we're looking at. I mean, you know, that could be the switch cut. This could be the mounting holes. And this one's got a negative sign on your sketch 3. Negative means it's underdefined, which means it could probably move while you're putting your, you know, your part together, your features together, and uh, it'll give you a wrong value for your mass properties. So let's right-click on that. Let's go ahead and fix that. It's blue. It's underdefined. And uh, we have a symmetric relationship over here, too. So it should be right here in the middle going this way, but we need to make it go up and down. So... Let's do this. Let's take out this dimension for now. Actually, we could probably keep that. Let's take out all of our symmetric relationships. So let's go ahead and drag this to that one over here and this one over here. And we'll keep that dimension. That dimension only has two significant or two digits after the decimal. Let's make sure we see all three of those. And we're going to go up here to precision and change that to three and then go to the green check mark over there. So now we need to create a symmetric relationship over here too. So we're going to exaggerate that a little bit. Let's put in a center line between uh, this midpoint over here. Can't really grab that because we're not normal to it. Got to be normal in this class. So we, we're not really normal to this face. So if we do Control-8, let's do Escape a couple times and Control-8. Up, oh, click on that face, Control-8. Okay, N. Yours is Control-8, mine is N. Mine is just a shortcut key I developed. But in class, it's going to be Control-8. And then center line, we're going to do a center line between that uh, midpoint of that edge and that midpoint of this edge. And we're going to take this circle, that circle, that uh, center point, that center line, we're going to make that symmetric. Now it's black and fully defined. Let's go ahead and rebuild it. So we're still looking at the back of the model here. And we know that because if we go to the space bar, go to the front, we're looking at the back. So we need to make the front back and the back front. So let's do this. Let's take a rollback bar and roll this back a bit. And uh, everything here is probably okay until we get to the chamfer. We're just picking the wrong edge for the chamfer. But the thing about the chamfer here is you're doing chamfers and little steps at a time on the back, looks like. Where's that chamfer at? Yeah, that's along the edge in the back. And then over here you did the holes and then uh, the switch, you know, cut. 
But let's do this. Let's take all of our chamfers and uh, let's go take these and let's just suppress them. Suppressing them, I don't think you've run across that yet. Suppressing them allows you to, uh, like, it's still there, but it takes it out of the model for now. We're going to suppress each one of these, and what you do is you right-click on it, and you go to the Suppress button, and we're going to go ahead and suppress those guys. And now we're going to go make, our, make sure we have the right orientation, go to the front. Now we're going to do our chamfer in here. So we're going to go to Features, go underneath Fillet, go to Chamfer, and this time we're just going to click on this face, because that takes care of everything. Takes care of the switch cut, the hole cuts, and the edges over here in the front. And uh, it's a fast and easy way. Make sure we have the, the proper uh, values in here. 0 0.0625 should be at 40 degrees, which is good. So once we do that, go to the green check mark. This is a kind of a shortcut over here that uh, pops up, so you could use that. And if you right click over here, just go to OK, and then we should be OK. So there's our chamfers. The other ones are, um, are suppressed. Then our shell is in the front again. So let's go right click on that shell. And uh, instead of this face, we're going to right click on that. We're going to clear the selections or delete it. And now we're going to pick the back where it should be. Right click on the mouse. And now we should be in pretty good shape. So let's check our mass properties. Evaluate mass properties. Yep, 0 0.0925. That's good. Mass is 0 0.0237. That's good. That matches our drawing, which is down here. And I think we're correct. So, bottom line of this lesson, make sure that uh, your orientation is correct. That's, uh, that's one of your evaluation questions. If the orientation is incorrect, you lose points. You don't have too many points to lose in the evaluations. But uh, always check that. And the way you do that, again, space bar, go to the front view, top view, whatever view you're looking at. And that will confirm that you're off in the right direction. And do that early when you set up your model. Because out here in space, spinning this stuff around... You kind of lose track of where the up and down is because there's no reference for that. But there is if you press the space bar.